Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, right now, we're going to be reviewing something I just got from my last trip from Hong Kong. This is one of, one of those things that I hesitated quite a few times already in buying. Not because I'm not sure if I wanted it, because of actually the cost. So I'll put the... Uh, where I got it, and you can see how much it cost. That's why I was hesitating. Just to give you uh, an idea, the price of just this shield is already a nice helmet. So, medyo, kaya medyo hesitated talaga ako in getting this. Right now, I'm using the mirrorized shield, also from Showy, as you can see here. So, this one. It's mirrorized, it's really nice. It makes the helmet actually look nice. But one of the biggest problem I have, which I already mentioned before with, with tinted shields, is since it's always tinted, it's nice when you're using it during the daytime. But once you get dark, once it gets dark on your way home, this becomes an issue unless you actually bring a glass uh, an eyeglass that you can, a protective eyeglass that you can wear because this becomes a little dark when you're riding. So ang hirap, sipi mo, our, our lights here in Metro Manila, our street lights are not really the best. So what happens is you get to pass by really dark roads and you're using uh, a, dark, a dark shield. So I decided I think it's time to let go of the shield and get myself a transition. So what is a, a transition or a photochromic? No? So let's move this aside for now. So here, the, here it is, the CWR F2 uh, with pins because I can put my pin locks. Uh, photochromic uh, shield. No? So, Photochromic, people actually call it also as transition, but transition is actually not the technology. Transition is actually the brands that make the photochromic technology. So photochromic is basically uh, a technology where the molecules, this is very high tech, the molecules within the shield, once they are subjected to UV light, behave so differently that it gets dark. So, ang nangyari, UV light, pag naarawan, it actually gets dark. And when there is less UV light, when it gets darker, it reverses the process so it becomes clear. So, it starts out clear. As you can see, ito yung from the documentation nila. So, it starts clear. Pag medyo lumiliwanag, it becomes gray. And it gets dark when it's very bright. But the thing is, I don't really think it gets this dark. So, that's something we have to try. Uh, I did had an experience with photochromic pin locks before when I had my HJC. That one I wasn't happy because it wasn't getting dark enough. Not dark enough, so parang bitin pa rin when it's really very, very bright. So when I was reading reviews about the show we won, they said that this one gets a bit darker. So hopefully yun nga yung mangyari. So let's... And this is still sealed, so let's start to open it up. And then let's check it out. I'll also be doing a quick test later on how fast it actually changes from light to dark. Okay, so I just wanna be careful in how I wanna hold it for a minimal fingerprint style. So this is the shield. As you can see, right now, kakalabas pa lang sa packaging, it's actually clear. You know, it's actually clear. You can actually read through the text here. But later, when we expose it to light, ito, you will see the difference between this and a clear. There's actually a little... There, it says transition. Okay. Now, what I'm going to be doing now is to remove my old shield get the pin lock from here 
and then transfer the pin lock also since we won't be using this tinted one anymore. But I'll just keep this as a backup or let's see if anyone wanna sell it, if anyone wants to buy it. Now, the model that I got this for, it says actually CWRF2 for the Z8, Z8 or the X15. X15 is the newest showy helmet. The Z8 is actually the Asian model, Brad, it's the Asian model number for this helmet. I got this from the US, so this is an RF1400, but in Europe, they call this an NXR2. So, so this shield will actually work with any of those models because they're practically the same helmet. So NXR2, Z8, and RF1400. So they use the same transition lens or the same, they use all the same uh, face shield. So this one, the, the clear one, and also the mirror eye. So you can interchange. So in the Philippines, Moto World, who is the carrier for Showy, sells the Z8 model, so Asian model. So you can actually use that for the Z8 too. But I already checked with Moto World, they actually don't carry the transition ones. So US, actually I was planning to order it like the way I ordered this. The transition, the transition na, na lens is always sold out sa US. Ang bilis mas ma, ma sold out ito. Um, I've checked all the websites for the US and it's always sold out. Kung meron man, magpapakita yan, one or few, one or two items lang available. Tapos mauubos din ka agad if you don't purchase it immediately. And since mahal din yung shipping coming here, since it's a little bit bulky, it's light but it's very bulky. So tumataas yung presyo. So when I went to Hong Kong the last trip, that's when I decided. Actually, this is my second... Um, time going to that store the first time uh, I'll post the the first trip that I did few months ago I already saw this but I hesitated in buying it so medyo nagsisi ako so this time when I went back binili ko na okay so um, since I'm going to be handling a lot of the lens and everything but for now let me just remove it so as usual so when you remove the all you have to do is easy, the, the lenses are easy to pop. There's just a small, small button that you press here that when you press it, you just have to pull out to snap it open out. Yeah. There you go. And then let's do it on the other side. There you go. So easy removal. And then as you can see here, the pin lock is here. So I need to remove it from here and then transfer it here. Since I'll be handling the actual lens and I don't want to be handling the inside, baka matouch ko. To prevent any fingerprints, I think I, it's better off I just use some gloves. This should be easy to remove. So remember, this these shields are literally almost impossible to break so don't worry about opening them up this way they are very flexible pero konting ingat lang doon sa pin lock because yung pin lock is more sensitive than the shield itself so there you go i will removed it time to put them on I'm about to put the record. Yeah, that's correct. So, as usual, so you just lay it flat, open it up, pop this here. Checking if they have seated properly. Okay. Okay, so pin locks there. Let's see the fingerprints. Kung sa labas lang ba siya, hindi sa loob. Yeah, that's good. No fingerprints. 
and then that's time to put it back. So basically to put it back is fairly simple. There's a notch here, there's a groove here, so the notch goes here, and then the groove goes here. So let's just align that, align that. Let's get it here. There you go. That's in, that's in. There you go. Okay. Now, let's do a quick test. Looks like based on this test, mga 15 seconds, and it was able to achieve maximum darkness. So, that was pretty quick. So far, I think the shade is dark enough because this is uh, 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So, mataas taas yung araw. And I'm not squinting and my eyes are actually comfortable. Hindi siya yung nasis may walang konting silaw. Kasi yung problema ko dati, uh, remember my only point of comparison is the uh, photochromic pin lock that I had from my previous HJC helmet. Ang problema doon, since the pin lock is not full coverage, may mga parts na pumapasok na masisilaw ka. At the same time, yung shade mismo nung, nung pin lock, hindi ganun kadilim. So, Parang, parang bitin pa rin na pag naaarawan ka, medyo parang may konting silaw pa rin. As compared to this one, okay siya eh. Hindi ako nasisilaw eh. As in, my eyes, uh, uh, remember, as, as, you, as you age, medyo uh, lumalabas na talaga yung edad. Besides that our eyesight gets worse, uh, requiring us to make sure we have a reading glass always on standby, is we are our eyes are more sensitive to light mas mabilis tayo masilaw uh, as compared to when i was younger pwede ako tumutok sa araw go be outdoor pero ngayon talagang hinahihirapan ako with i need the i need to wear sunglasses when i go out uh, outdoor but with this one the shade looks perfect kasi may feel mo medyo madilim siya but it's not to a point na wala ka na makita pero Hindi rin siya yung kulang. The shade is just right for me that it blocks enough sunlight that my eyes are comfortable and yet it doesn't feel it's too dark. Pero, yun nga eh. The thing with photochromic is if it does get too dark, you don't have to worry about it But because as soon as you the exposure to the sunlight is reduced, Pati yung ano na reduce din. Yung yung tint niya. 'Di ba? So So yun yung ganda ng photochromic uh, especially with this one that is made by Transition. Transition is one of the better brands when it comes to photochromic lenses. Eh. Meron kasi mga generic na photochromic. Yung yun, yun yung the shade is not as dark or mabagal or masyadong mabagal sa mag transition this one is actually transitions pretty quickly from dark to light and light to dark so hindi kayong tipong bigla kang pumasok sa tunnel tapos wala kang biglang makita kasi sobrang dilim this one actually reacts pretty quick so yun yung kinagandahan din with 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 using the transition branded one no so this is still sold by Showy, but they use the technology and license the technology from Transition. So is it is it worth the money? <laughs> That's very subjective kasi yun eh, kung sulit ba o hindi. Kasi if you're talking about being able to to always have your lid, yung visor mo na wala kang worry kung gabihin ka man, well, that becomes sulit kasi <clears throat> ang mahirap kung if you're using the the tinted ones that I had before either I leave my my shield up when I ride or I have to bring a clear na, sun, na clear na glasses 
which di ko palagi dala especially if I'm on the Ducati ngayon itong Vespa I could probably just put a clear shade under the seat forever nandyan pero the quality of that shade is actually not good because hindi naman ako bibili ng mamahalin pa na clear shade lang eh yun lang masakit sa mata because it's the 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 quality the optical quality of the cheap shades are are really bad second my other option is to not wear any shade but I have to keep my lid open now that's good when you're traveling slow pag mabilis-bilis na medyo masakit sa mata yung hangin at the same time pag merong flying objects na na lumipad wala ka nung protection of the lid eh if uh, I'll see if I can look for that video where a piece of a tire flew sa face nung rider buti na lang nakasuot siya ng full face na may shade yung shade ang ang tumama tapos yung shade na tanggal pero wala siyang injury na imagine mo kung wala siyang suot na shade at pumasok sa mata niya yun diba? so then then having a, 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 a photochromic shield at this price might be sulit if you're thinking about all those safety Diba? Oh. Ah. Basta, I think I'm just justifying the expense at this point eh. Pero in terms of quality, let's let's not talk about the price when it, ter- when it comes to the quality of the shield Optically, this is very nice, very clear Walang ka issue-issue sa distortions Which I expect from a showy, li- showy made na, na face shield Second, the transition works perfectly I find that the dark part of the 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 dark part is dark enough for me, and then it transitions to to lighter shade when you're in a, in a shaded area. Is it transitions fast enough that hindi ka parang bulag kasi sobrang dilim ng suot mong shade? So overall, I think. For me, this is this is a good buy. Okay, so after a long day, it's already eight o'clock, and we're on our way home. So, so Kanina, when we left the house at uh, 1 p.m., the the sun was up. It was very bright, and we were testing the Shoei CRF2. Was that CRF2? Uh, photochromic uh, shield, face shield for the RF 1400 Z8 and NXR2 they're all the same model so this is the reason why I actually purchased this is for the reasons that sometimes you leave the house early and then you have to come home late in the evening so if I was using my tinted shield this would have been uh a difficult ride home because either I would keep it open and let the let the wind uh, bother my eyes or keep it closed but with some limited visibility because of the dark shield so that's the reason why I got this photochromic because right now I'm using this photochromic uh, face shield and it feels like I'm using a normal uh, clear shield. No issues at all when it comes to being a little bit dark. Voila, everything everything feels normal. So, yun yung maganda doon, di ba? So, here you go. Showy photochromic shield with transition technology for the showy helmet. So, Thank you guys for uh, listening to and watching my vlog. Till our next vlog, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.